Hey there, today is Thursday, October 17th, 2024, and the word of the day is an interesting one. Today's word is oops. We all make mistakes at one point in time or another, but how we handle those mistakes will determine how our lives play out. So how do you feel? when you make a mistake are you the kind of woman who can easily own up to her mistakes who can say oh i'm sorry i messed up i did something wrong apologize and keep it moving or are you the woman who beats herself up who says i can't believe i did that i'm so stupid how could i do that i'm so sorry will you please forgive me you ask for forgiveness over and over and over again not just from others, but from yourself, right? And then you find yourself stuck in this loop where because you made a mistake, you you now label yourself as that mistake. And mistakes can be very small or they could be huge. Regardless of the size of the mistake, the effect of the mistake, one of the most important things that making mistakes teaches us is that we are human. If you make a mistake and it's out of ignorance, you just did not know. You just were not aware that you shouldn't have done what you did. Then take that as a lesson. Don't be afraid to circle back and learn the lesson. If you find yourself making the same mistake, however, over and over and over again. That means that there is a lesson that you have not yet learned. And it may mean that you need to look at things in a different way. It may mean that you need to actually go back and look at things again, because what happens very often is that we make a mistake, something goes wrong, and we are in such a hurry to get over that mistake. We're in such a hurry to move on that we don't stop. We don't take accountability and we don't acknowledge what happened. We don't examine why it happened and we don't explore how it can't happen again. What can we do so that it doesn't happen again? So it's important when you have these oops moments in your life to stop, examine what happened, what really happened objectively, step outside of it. And I know this may be difficult depending on what the mistake is, you know, depending on if this has to do with a relationship, if it has to do with um, your children, family, close friendships, something that is close to the heart, we can be really hard on ourselves in those types of scenarios. It could also be something at work. You may have messed up in a big way and caused your department to lose money. Your job may be on the line, but whatever the problem is, whatever the mistake is, you're going to have to look back. You're going to have to examine what happened. And this is not to beat yourself up. This is not to rehash everything, but is for you to be informed right? When we examine these things and we review what happened, it's just for the sake of information. There there is a skill of removing yourself, removing your emotions from the actual occurrence. And that's a skill that you can learn. When you do that, when you can isolate your emotion from the facts of what happens, you are going to get revelation about what you need to do next time or what you don't need to do next time, right? So don't be afraid to examine your mistakes. Don't be afraid to examine yourself. Don't be afraid to see what is the source of this setback and what can I do moving forward. But the most important thing is that you own your mistakes. Own your mistakes, but do not allow your mistakes to own you. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey, and I'll talk to you soon.